From a mighty thank long you, way. Lord. Thank you, and thank you. Right now, I, I thought the young adult was gonna sing, but I don't know. I guess we gonna have to we gonna have to patch up something here this morning. Yeah. So I guess we gonna we gonna have to sing this morning. Amen. Give us a hand if we come. Y'all can help me with this song right here. Ready for that great day, my Lord, my Lord, getting us ready yeah. for that great, great day. day. I want to know who shall be able, I want to know who shall be able. Ready for that great, great day. day, my Lord, Lord. getting us ready for that great, great day. day. I want to know who shall be able. I want to know who Able 
Tuesday. Big God, help me out. Yeah, be able to stand. Listen. My Lord, right, he's getting us ready. Getting us ready. For that day. day. Us ready, us ready for that day. day. I want to know who shall be able. I want to know who shall be able. I want to know who shall be able. To be ready, you got to be ready. Yeah, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. He's coming again one day. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. And Jesus come, y'all. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. He's coming again real soon. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. Yeah, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. So be ready, 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 he's coming again, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, maybe in the midnight, be ready, but be ready, be ready, might be one morning, be ready, it may be ready, be ready, so be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, oh, be ready, be ready. He's coming again, y'all. So be ready, so be ready, be ready, be ready, so be ready, be ready. So be ready. Be ready. My Lord, He's getting us ready, getting us ready for that day. day. My Lord. He's getting us ready. Getting us ready. For that day. I want to know who shall be able. I want to know who shall be able. Somebody tell me who shall be able. Pastor, tell me who shall be able. Deacon, tell me. Be able, be able to stand. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Getting us ready for that great day. What a blessing it is to be. Let's see. Um, I'll change key. Let's go to something else. Yeah, let's go to something else. Yeah, I got my songs mixed up. <laughs> Ain't God good? Amen. Ain't God good? Since I found Jesus, my whole life has changed. Give me a B. Since, since I found Jesus, my whole life has changed. You ought to be able to say the same thing. Amen. Amen. I'm going to scrap up just a minute.
Let the church say amen. Amen. While we regrouping here, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. No weapon form against us shall prosper. Now God knows all he sees all. And let the church say amen. I didn't hear him say it. Check the one, check one. Amen, amen, amen. You know, God is still good. Yeah. Amen. Since I found Jesus, brother die, the whole life has changed. That's right. Since I Found Jesus, my whole life has changed. Since I found Jesus, my whole life has changed. You know He changed my heart, my tongue, my tongue, my whole life, my whole life has changed. Yes, my whole life has changed. Since I Let me tell you my day, let me tell you my day, one Sunday morning, one Sunday morning, my life, one Sunday morning, one Sunday morning, my life, one Sunday morning, tears running down my life, down my face, he will change you, my life, he will change you, my life, he will change you, my life, he he will change you, my life has changed. He will change you, my life has changed. My whole life, my whole life has changed. My whole life has changed. Hey, 
Can't say that about nobody but myself. My whole life. Hey! I hear you now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, good morning. And happy Sunday to each and every one of you, my sisters and brothers in Christ, that are here today in the sanctuary. And good morning to those of you that are watching us live. Right. It's a good day a good to day. give the Lord some praise. Yeah. Amen? Right. Because we know that God is good. All the time. And all the time. All the time. Oh, that's why someone needs to stand on their feet right. and just give the Lord some all praise. Right. With my hands lifted up And my mouth filled with Because all he have done, 
all he's doing and all he's going to do. All, right. all we can do is say thank you, Jesus, for all your many blessings. And he deserves it. He deserves all the praise, the glory, and the honor. And I'm going to bless him and praise him if I got to do it all by myself. Because when praises go up, and when praises go up, blessing come down. We want the blessing, but we don't want to praise it. Well, if you want to be blessed, praise him in spite of. Don't think about your problems, but think about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's bigger than any problem you may encounter or any problem you may have. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you. May of course and others <laughs> for the selection. Amen. Amen. And we're going to have uh, Minister Weldon to come with our morning scripture at this Amen. time. coming from Romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 6 glory to his name hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus he's worthy to be praised amen amen are you we ready Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. By whom also we have access to faith and to this grace, when we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Amen? Amen. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation work, work patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed ab abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. All right. For when we were yet with our strength, and due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. 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 Five loaves 
loaves of bread, male chorus, oh, 5,000 people, they had to be fed, and they went on, oh, went on, went on to gather well, I'm talking about that number, oh, talking about that number, that my Jesus fed two fishes, two little fishes, I know. Five loaves of bread, five thousand, five thousand people. They had to be fed, and they went on, oh, went on, went on to Galilee, went on to Galilee. Well, I'm talking about that number, oh, talking about that number that my Jesus fed. He took two little fish, five loaves of bread. Five thousand people, they had to be fed, and they went on, oh, went on, went on to Galilee, went on to Galilee, well, I'm talking about that number, oh, talking about that number, that my Jesus fed, that my Jesus fed, two little fishes, five loaves of bread, five thousand people, That my Jesus fed two little fishes, five loaves of bread, five thousand people that had to be fed, and they went on, oh, went on, went on. Well, I'm talking about that number, oh, talking about that number. That my Jesus fed. Two little fishes, five loaves of bread, five thousand people that had to be fed, and they went on, oh, oh, went on, went on to Galilee. Well, I'm talking about that number, oh, talking about that number, that my Jesus, that my Jesus fed, two little fishes. Five loaves of bread, five thousand people, that had to be fed, went on, 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 Two little fishes, two little fishes, two little fishes, two little fishes, five loaves of bread, two little fishes, five loaves of bread, two little fishes.
you're going to say something, Deacon Davis. But could you hold it till after church? After church! for the scripture and now we're gonna pause here and uh, receive our well we'll have our announcement if there's any and after the announcements we will uh, receive our tithe and offering and the male chorus they're gonna give us another selection so male chorus y'all think about it now so when they come and start, when they get up, <laughs> All right. when they come to receive it, I want y'all to come on with it. We gonna go on to That's right, Deacon Dallas said, because he going on to Galilee. So y'all sit there. <laughs>
selection and I want all of my bodyguards to be with me after church because Deacon Davis is giving me the eye so <laughs> <laughs> by that time he'll be in Galilee I got up this morning All right. and I saw a new day. I said one more blessed Lord that you sent my way. I got up this morning and all doing okay. I say one more blessing, Lord, that you sent my way. Lord, you blessed me over and over, and all through the day, I say one more blessing, Lord, that you sent my way. And I need down to pray. I say one more blessing, love that you send my way. Lord, thank you for all your many blessings. Lord, we thank you for being in the midst of this service. We thank you for the offering and time that was received. We actually bless those that gave, bless the ones that wanted to give but just didn't have it at this time. And let it for the honors of your kingdom, because we ask no other name but in the miraculous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and let all the people of God say, Amen. Introduce, well, present the pastor. Amen. All right. All Amen. Right. Y'all ready for the word? Amen. Are you ready for the word? Amen. The grass withered and the flowers Say are going now. to fade. Well, 
But the down. word of God. But the word of God. Shall stand, shall last forever. forever. I don't care how many times you read it. All right. It will read the same over and over again. All right. Amen. Amen. Point your hands towards the pastor and say, Pastor Houston. Pastor Houston. Preach the word. Preach the word. Pastor Houston. Pastor Houston. Let the Lord. Let the Lord. Use you. Use you. In his own way. In his own way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Preach the word. Preach the word. Now put your hands together and receive him. After the I like to take out a little time. All right, then. Just, I like to take out a little time and well, thank God for all the many blessings that right, He has bestowed upon me. Yes, sir. See when I look back over my life well, and on, see how far He brought me. Yeah. I can truly say I've been yeah. blessed. All right. Woke up this morning, All right. got out of my bed, yeah. looked around. This is what I said. Right. Thank you, Lord, for the blood you shed. Yeah. You put a roof yes, up on my head. Thank you, Lord, yeah. for another day. Yeah. And all the blessings right. you sent my way. Could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. Right but you told them, right. get back and be hey. Ooh, we, ooh, we, another blessing, another blessing. Ooh, we, ooh, we, another blessing, another blessing. Ooh, we, ooh, we, another blessing, another blessing. Another blessing. Uh -huh. Never seen right just for second. No, it's easy. Yes, Fear for bread. I count on God. Won't let me down. He always do just what he said. Now, pain and suffering. He brought me through. Arms open wide. Oh, we work for me. I've been blessed in so many ways. I just lift my hand yes, and give him all the praise. Another blessing, another blessing, another blessing. I've got my legs, and I can walk. Another blessing, I've got my tongue, y'all, and I can talk. Another blessing, even the air that I receive. Another blessing, I've got my lungs, y'all, and I can breathe. Another blessing, look around, yeah, I can see. Another blessing, all the blessing, y'all. Another blessing. I see my family all doing fine. Another blessing. He gave me peace, gave me peace of mind. Another blessing. Thank God. Thank God. Another blessing. Thank God. Another blessing. Thank God. Another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing. I realize I could have been dead. Some was sleeping in my grave. Another blessing. But you blessed me. I thank God. You blessed me. Another blessing. Lord, you let me think a new day. Another blessing. He kept his arm. I thank God. All around me. Another blessing. He never left me. Thank God. He never left me. Another blessing. He been good to me. Another blessing, 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 another blessing
Somebody ought to stand here if he didn't help me praise him just for a moment. Worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been requested. Amen. Amen. I'm so full right now. This, this, this request came right in, in right on time. It's been requested that uh, Minister Pace would come and Amen. Uh, sing this morning and amen. Just let the Lord have his way. Praise God. Amen. Amen. While she come and reach up and grab somebody and say, Woo wee! Another blessing. My God. Brother Dan always mess me up with that song. <laughs> Every time I hear, Oh, we another blessing. See, he's been good to me. He done brought me through so many things. High at other books. And he's still taking me through. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. I'm trying to gather myself right now. <laughs> so I won't get in the wrong key. <laughs> been through the storm and the rain. But I made it. Thank you, Jesus. I've had, I've had a lot of heartache and pain. Oh, but I made it. Thank you, Jesus. I've been through the storm and rain. I'm having a lot of heartache and pain. Oh, but I made it. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, I made it. I'm going to say that one more time. Because I know I ain't the only one been through some stuff. Been through the storm and the rain. But I made it. I done had. I've had a lot of heartache and pain. Oh, but I made it. Thank you, Lord. I've been through the storm and the rain. I've had a lot of heartache and pain. Oh, oh, but I made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, I made it. Because when I see Jesus, I am a Hey God, man. See, I don't know why y'all living this life, but I'm telling you why I live it. When I, when I, when I see Jesus, hey, hey, man. Thank you, Jesus. When I see Jesus, the man that bled and suffered. The man that died on the cross. Hey, 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 man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. When I see Jesus, thank you, Lord. Hey, man. When I, when I, one day I'm going to see Jesus. Hey, hey amen. All of my suffering, all of my crying late at night. No more worries, no more diabetes, no more high blood pressure, no more cancer, no more going through things, no more COVID. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, hey, Amen. Hey, hey, Every time I turn around, ha, the Lord He keeps right on blessing me. Blessing me. Every time I, every time I, every time I turn around, he keeps right on blessing me. See, I don't know about you. Y'all looking like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But see, he done brought me through a stroke. He done brought me through children leaving me. He done brought me through trouble in my marriage. So when you see me praising him, I got a right to praise him. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, every time I turn, hey God, every time I turn around, the Lord keep blessing me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Hallelujah. Can somebody stand to your feet and can somebody stand to your feet and worship him today? Worship him, worship him. Slip your hands up before heaven and worship the God Almighty. Worship him for his goodness. Worship him for his mercy. Worship him for his loving kindness. Worship him because he's God. Beside him there is no other. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. 
He's worthy to be praised. Holiday, we give honor to God today for his presence. I don't know what you feel, but I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. And if I could have the liberty to say this, I've got a right to praise him. I, 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 got, I don't know about you, but I've got a right. I, I've got a right. Amen. Been issued to me a long time ago. The Bible said, let everything that had breath. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise God to uh, ministerial staff, to uh, deacons male chorus, musicians, and our ushers, all of you that make this seating today, those that are watching us via social media, we give God praise, Amen. we give God glory, Amen. and we give him honor. Yeah. Can somebody go back and turn number one down just a smidgen? Turn number one and number two down just a little bit. Amen. Let me let me let me make the devil real mad. Can I get somebody in here to help me just make the devil real mad? Just for a second. Now, now the devil got a campaign out to ruin me. He's got a campaign out to make me look bad and make me look all nasty and stinky. But I got news for him. I already read over in the book of Revelation, and I found out in the book of Revelation, he lost. He already lost the battle. Because God said, amen, touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Amen. And he told me, hold my peace. Hold my peace. He was going to fight my battle. I told somebody the other day, I ain't all my Christian life, I ain't never got on my knees and prayed for God to, to, to hurt nobody, to get nobody, to seek him on nobody for what they've done. But I got on my knees the other day and I told God, whoever this devil is trying to ruin me, get him. Amen. I told him, whoever it is, God, whoever it is, I don't know who it is, don't know their name, don't know where they come from, but whoever it is, met it with me, God, I want you to get them because I can't do it. When, 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 when you when you living right and you ain't bothering nobody, you serving God with all you got, and you putting all you got in to be a blessing to the people of God, and you serving God to the and people running behind your back trying to destroy you. I said, God, get them. Now, enough on that note. Enough on that. Anybody ever got just got tired of the devil picking on you? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Just, 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 just nitpicking. Just, amen. Just every time you turn around, he coming up with some another lie. Yeah. That's right. That's what he the Bible said that he's a lie and the truth ain't in him. Yeah. And guess what, Bud Price? I don't care how nasty the lie is, somebody going to believe I would say it's an honor for a man to see some strife, but every old fool gonna meddle. Mm, that. That's scripture. That's scripture. Now let's go to the scripture. All right. I know I done made him mad, but that's, that's all right. right. He makes you mad, so why not make him mad? That's right. That's right. Make him mad sometimes. You can't call with that. Folks, I've been saved and preaching 53 years. And I, I feel I feel just like. A dog don't mess in his own place where he sleep, do he? 
Come on. Dog don't mess where he sleep, do he, but pray. Amen. And I feel this way. Wherever God put me, I ain't going to mess in it. Now, now decipher that one. Figure that in now. Why are you sitting around waiting on me to fall? Why are you waiting, sitting around waiting on me to make, make a mistake? Amen. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. I'm being honest this morning. From the book of St. Mark, chapter number 10. St. Mark, chapter 10. St. Mark, chapter number 10. 10. I, I don't know how... I don't know how much. I don't know how much moving around I'm gonna do. If you pass Matthew, go I don't know how much moving around I'm gonna do. I told Brother Bruce my belt broke, so I don't want to pass <laughs> <laughs> Mark chapter ten, verse seventeen. Mark ten, verse Mark seventeen. 10. There's a word uh -huh. from the Lord. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running, kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? All right. Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Yeah. There is none good but one, that is God. Mm -hmm. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. All right. Do not bear false witness. I'm preaching already. Yeah. Be proud not. Honor thy father and mother. And he answered and said to him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. And said unto him, One thing thou lackest. Go thy way. Sell whatsoever thou hast. Give it to the poor. Thou shalt have treasures in heaven and come. Take up the cross and follow me. Now watch verse 22. And he was sad at that saying. Went away grieved. For he had great. Possessions. Uh -huh. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy light, sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Take somebody by the hand and I want you to tell them. Look at somebody and tell them, come as you are. Come as you are. But don't leave as you came. But don't leave as you came. That's right. Amen. You don't have to leave here like you came. You don't have to leave here like you came. Like in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. We got you. Bishop Patterson sung a song, said, you don't have to leave here like you came. In Jesus' name. Come as you are. But don't leave like you came. A few weeks back as we was in flight from Dallas, Texas, this thought crossed my mind. And it began to resonate in my spirit how so many people only come to church out of tradition. Some come for one purpose only. Some come to sing. When they get to singing, they're ready to go. Some come to usher. After they get through ushering, they're ready to go. Some come to be a deacon. When they get through serving on the deacon ministry, they're ready to go. Some come just to find out how much mess they can hear. All right. Some people don't even have a good intention when they come to church. I wanted to, to, to really dig into this thought come as you are but don't leave like you came That's right. Amen. 
Can I, can I take my time this morning? Sometimes I, I, I just believe with all my heart that most people got church and worship mixed up. Let me, let, me, let me tell you what church is. Church is a body of baptized believers coming together for the express purpose of giving God the praise. This building is not the church. This is what the church comes to worship God. Therefore, if you are not a part of the church, you occupy in space. All right. mm. well. well, 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 Pastor, how can I become a part of the church? Come as you are. <laughs> come, come as you are. But as you come as you are, come with the attitude, I want to receive something from God. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go to Golden Corral at the church looking for nothing but food. Ain't no need, ain't no need be going to Golden Corral and pay for food and said I just came to use the bathroom. I just wasted my money. Because Golden Corral is a place to eat. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I wouldn't have come to church just to hear some juicy gossip. Uh oh. I know this, I know this scripture is a very familiar text. Amen. We've heard it, read it. But I dug some nuggets out of here. Good for the soul. This rich young ruler came to Jesus asking him one thing. What must I do to receive eternal life? What have I got to do? What what now as you study, as you read it, you find out he was a church boy. He, he wasn't no sinner. He wasn't out there running the street. He wasn't, amen, in the club. He wasn't no uh, uh, pusher. He wasn't no drug addict. He was a church boy. He'd been raised in church. He knew what the Bible said, but at this point in his life, he wanted somebody to pat him on the back. He was wealthy. Well, he was young. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells me to the young people that listen to me in here today, the Bible said, despise not your youth. In other words, just because you're young does not mean you got a whole lot of time to get it right. Amen. Young people die too. Amen. His eyes, his eyes were set on religious matters. Can I, can I stay on that word just, just for a second? Religious matters. I'm finding out so many church folks just religious. They ain't saved. Religious mean you know <laughs> the traditional matters Concerning the scripture. Religious means you got a form of God. But denying the power thou. Kind of quiet. But when you have been saved. That means your life. Has been changed. When you have been saved. The Bible said come out from amongst them. And be ye separate. The Bible says, let the same mind be in you. 
Ah! That was also in Christ Jesus. But when you're just religious, you don't have that mind. All you do is come to church out of tradition. You do what your mama did, what your grandmama did, and what your granddaddy did. If they raise hell, you raise hell. Oh, God. His eyes, his eyes were set on teachers, eternal life, and good deeds. That's all, that's all he, all he was setting about was what he could do, what he had. He, he had to look, he had to look, Brother Bruce, of a seeker. In other words, he looked like a Christian. He looked like a church goer. Uh -huh. But let me tell you something. Looks can be deceiving. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says ye shall know the tree by the fruit it bears. You ain't going to no apple tree looking for no pears. What grows on an apple tree? Apple. But man got so smart now, he know how to cross a plum with a peach and come up with a nectarine. Can I get a witness? But you cannot mix Christianity with hell raising and be a Christian. I, I'm, I'm going to stay right here. Amen, because the devil told me to stop, so I'm going to stay right here. He, he, he seemed willing to listen and eager to learn. Amen. He came and he asked the question. He was willing. He was eager to learn what have I got to do. But what happened? He heard something he didn't want to hear. I'm praying the other night. Sometimes you got to check yourself out. You got to find out, God, is this happening to me? Are because of me. So God, if it's happening because of me, show me my error. Show me what I done wrong. Show me what I need to change. I, I'm, I, I'm going, I'm coming. This is me talking to God now. Y'all forgive me, but this is how I talk to God. I said, God, I ain't no need me trying to blame what's happening to me on somebody else if it's my fault. So God, if, if, if something I'm doing, I need to change, you show me. God told me, walk in the light, for he is the light. And I said, God, why are you telling me to walk in the light? He said, stay where you are. I got this. This, this young man, he seemed like he was a disciple in mission. He was, he was, he was in church. Stay with me. I'm going to get to where that in just a second. He, he, he seemed like he was a prime candidate to be licensed and ordained. All right. His certificate was almost ready to be signed. King Agrippa said to Paul, Paul got to preaching to Agrippa. Man, that word got so heavy on Agrippa. Agrippa shook and said, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian, but something stopped him. Did y'all hear that word I said, something? Amen. I ain't never seen a church like churches here today. They always want to blame it on something. I'm going, I'm going to the mountaintop in a minute. <coughs> It must have been quite a scene that day. Jesus was headed. Take my time. Thank you. I think I'll do just that. Jesus was headed to Jerusalem to complete his assignment when suddenly this young man came running toward Jesus, knelt down before him. As Jesus looked at the young man, he saw him such promise, such potential. I look at the body of Christ. I look at the children of God. I look at those that are saying of Christians, and I say, there's so much potential. But God, he said, amen, come unto me all, ye that labor, all right. and they have it laden, and I'll give you rest. All right. 
Amen. The Lord sees in us the potential to be better. He sees beyond your faults. He sees beyond our hang-ups. He sees beyond our flaws. He sees beyond that mask you got on. And I'm not talking about the one over your mouth. He sees beyond, amen, all your attitude. Y'all hear what I said? Your attitude. The songwriter Marvin Sapp said he saw the best in me. When everyone else could only see the worst in me. Amen. We have to stop sizing people up around us. Amen. Criticizing people that don't act like us. All right. Criticizing people that don't think like us. All right. Criticizing people that don't walk with you. All right. Amen. You got to find out if somebody walking with Christ, they're not going to walk with the devil. I must have hit a sour note right there. So let me say that again. If somebody walking with Christ, they're not going to walk with devils. But the Bible said, how can two, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Amen. Can I get a witness here? Matthew, Mark, Luke, they're all with the same way. Matthew, Matthew said he was a young man. Luke says he was a ruler in the religious class. Mark says he was rich. That's why we call him the rich young man ruler. All right. Amen. Amen. Mark also says something else. Mark says Jesus loved him. All right. Amen. Out of all we do in life, right. God still loves us. Right. You simply had to come as you are. Right. You simply had to make up your mind that the road I'm traveling now is not sustainable to get to heaven. Uh, I feel the preacher coming now. You have to understand that I got to change some things. Amen. If you are to be pleasing in the sight of God, you got to change your mind. You got to have a mindset that says, uh, amen, love them that despitefully use you. you. You, you got to have the mindset to love your enemies. You, you got to have that mindset that if they smite you on the right side, <laughs> turn your left. Uh, I felt somebody say, don't try it. Don't try it. Amen. But you, you got to make up your mind that I'm coming to Jesus just as I am. Weary, wounded, and sad. You got to be like the rich young ruler and come and say, Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Wasn't nothing wrong with him asking the question. The problem was his expectation behind the question. Can I get a witness? Can I put a note here for a moment? No matter where we are in our journey, that will come a point in our life where we must come running to Jesus. Amen. It's sad that, amen, when trouble comes, uh, people love to run to trouble. Uh-oh. Amen. When, when, amen, somebody break up. Who's fighting? Can I get a witness here? When, when, amen, trouble uh, is in the neighborhood, uh, people will stay up all night long uh, to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Can I get a witness here? You can be working in a plant and, amen, problems on the other side of the plant break down and people will walk off the job uh, just to go on the other side uh, to see what's going on. 
Can I get a witness here? Uh, amen. And nowadays, uh, we got that thing called a camera. And everywhere we go, uh, we can film it uh, and put it on Facebook. Uh, so we can show everybody what somebody else did. Uh, but I come to tell you today, God uh, got a camera too. Uh, he sees. Uh, you uprising and uh, you're down city. Uh, while you running around trying to find some dirt on somebody else, uh, God sees uh, everything you say and, and everything you do. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, you can't wait uh, another hour. Uh, you can't wait another minute. Uh, you can't wait another second. Uh, you got to come. Uh, running to Jesus uh, yeah no matter what's going on uh, in your life uh, the time will come uh, you gotta come uh, and lay down uh, at the altar uh, the song says uh, let us have a little talk with Jesus uh, tell him all about our trouble uh, he will heal uh, a lumber cry. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, although the young man uh, appeared uh, to have a lot of things uh, in the natural, uh, he was missing something uh, in the spirit. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, you may have uh, a nice car to ride in. Uh, you may live uh, in a nice home. Uh, you may have uh, a lot of clean clothes uh, and money in the bank uh, but there's something else you need uh, other than uh, material things uh, you need uh, to have uh, the blessings of God uh, in your spirit uh, can I get a witness him uh, he had much uh, yet he liked everything uh, can I get a witness? Uh, his life was full, uh, yet he was empty. Uh, he had financial security, uh, but he was spiritually bankrupt. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he asked the question, uh, what must I do uh, to inherit uh, eternal life? Uh, she uh, has a way uh, of dealing with us uh, in an effort uh, to help us focus on, on what is really important. Uh, you would think at first glance, uh, this is a good question uh, to ask the Lord. Uh, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, this young man had been raised uh, in the church. Uh, he had been brought up uh, from a child uh, in the church. Uh, seemed like by now uh, he would know uh, because the preacher uh, had to been preaching uh, salvation. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but the reason so many folks uh, don't understand uh, what salvation is. Uh, they think salvation uh, is something you can pay for. Uh, they think salvation uh, is something you can earn. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, salvation uh, is free. Uh, but in order to get it, uh, you got to submit yourself uh, to the will of God. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he said, uh, my God, what shall I do uh, to inherit uh, eternal life? Uh, he knew it existed. Uh, he knew what it was, uh, but he didn't have it. Uh, somebody in here today, uh, you know what salvation is. Uh, you know what being saved is. Uh, you know what living right is. You know what it means to love folks, uh, but you just don't want to do it. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but when you encounter Jesus, uh, it's not about how you come. Uh, it's about how you live. My, my. I done got too high, too quick. This young man, can I bring it back down for a second? This young man's sins were not against his brother. His sins were not against his mama. His sins was against God for everything he did. He did it unto God. Can I take a minute 
and let you know something. You can't hurt a child of God by criticizing them. You can't hurt a vessel of God by stabbing them with lies and confusion. Because the Bible said, whom the Lord loved, he will protect them. Can I get a witness here? And when you're wrapped up and tied up in the Lord, he will take care of you. The rich young ruler had God, if he had had God in his life, he wouldn't have had to ask the question because he would have known. But look what Jesus said. He gave him the commandments. He told him what to do. And that young man, in his conceited way, said, I've done all of this from my childhood. I haven't committed adultery. I haven't been backbiting. I've done everything you told me to do. But Jesus said, since you've done everything that I just mentioned, sell everything that you have and give it to the poor. He came with an attitude to be patted on the back. He came with an attitude to be praised and to be lifted up. It's a shame in this day and time for people uh, will lead the church uh, because they're not getting a bunch of accolades. Uh, it's a shame uh, when people won't uh, just praise God uh, and live for God. Uh, all they want uh, is somebody to tell them uh, how good they're doing. Uh, but I don't care uh, if nobody uh, tell me what good a job I'm doing. As uh, long as I can hear Jesus say, uh, Well done. The good and faithful servant. Can I get a witness? This young man heard Jesus say, sell everything. Can I get a witness? Selling everything does not save a sinner. Giving to the poor does not save a sinner. Falling Jesus of itself does not save a sinner. That would be nothing uh, more than religion. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, Judas uh, proved to us uh, that religion uh, does not redeem a soul. Uh, this man uh, had to get rid uh, of his little G, uh, of his little God. Uh, this young man uh, had to understand uh, what faith is. Uh, Paul defined uh, faith as uh, now faith is uh, the suffering of things hoped for uh, and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, Paul went on to say uh, whatsoever uh, is not of faith uh, is sin. Uh, verse 21 says that uh, Jesus uh, loved him. Uh, Jesus knew uh, the young man uh, had another small G God, uh, yet he still loved him. Uh, this young man uh, did not love Jesus uh, in return. Uh, he loved something more uh, than loving to see him. Uh, Matthew 10, uh, verse 37 say, uh, He that loveth father uh, or mother uh, more than me uh, is not worthy uh, of me. Uh, and he that loveth son uh, or daughter uh, more than me uh, is not worth the me. Uh, we don't properly understand uh, love today. Uh, we in love today. Uh, out of love tomorrow. Uh, we confuse love with lust. Uh, we confuse love with sex. Uh, we confuse love with beauty. Uh, we confuse love with assets. Uh, we confuse love. Uh, amen. Uh, out of respect. Uh, for the Lord, uh, but for God so loved the world uh, that he gave uh, his only begotten son uh, home. Uh, so I believe in him uh, shall not perish, uh, but shall have uh, everlasting life. Uh, have I got anybody in the house uh, that can raise your hand uh, and say, I love the Lord. Uh, he had my kind. Uh, Peter, every grown. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, Come as you are, uh, but don't leave uh, as you came. Uh, look what happened uh, when Jesus uh, told him what he had to do. 
uh, the scripture closed uh, with that young man walking away uh, sad uh, in his spirit uh, it's a shame uh, when we get mad uh, because we can't hear uh, what we want to hear uh, can't get a witness uh, Husbands uh, walk off and lead the wife. Uh, wives uh, walk off and lead the husband. Uh, members uh, walk off and lead the church. Uh, pastors uh, walk off and lead the flock. Uh, can I get a witness? Why? Uh, because everybody uh, want to hear uh, what they want to hear. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, He that had an ear, uh, let him hear uh, what the Spirit uh, said to the church uh, the spirit uh, is talking to the body of Christ uh, the spirit is saying uh, change uh, your attitude uh, the spirit is saying uh, change uh, your mind uh, the spirit is saying uh, change uh, who you walk with uh, the spirit is saying uh, change uh, who you talk to uh, can I get a witness uh, for how can two walk together uh, except they be agreed uh, when I see two devils uh, getting alone uh, ain't no need me trying to find out uh, which one the devil uh, they got to be in agreement uh, when I two seeds uh, when I two see two saints uh, walking together uh, I know uh, they got to be in agreement uh, somebody said uh, how can two clean sheets uh, make one another dirty uh, they may not get dirty uh, they can get mighty wrinkle uh, and the Bible said uh, he's coming back at the church uh, that have made it separate uh, come as you are uh, but don't leave like it came uh, yeah Come on. Jesus, he didn't say to the young man, well done. He didn't say, you've arrived. He told him, sell out. And the young man got sad. I'm skipping through this so I can get through. Jesus wants us to come to him with an open mind and with an open heart. Suppose for a moment the wealthy young man had never violated the commandments, commandments that Jesus presented to him. Suppose that he never murdered anybody. Suppose he never lied on anybody. Suppose he never told a lie. He never cheated. He always stayed in the right will of God. Just suppose all these things was true. Then why would he get angry when God told him the next step? The problem with the church today, and I'm not talking about New Bethel. I'm talking about the church world as a whole. The problem with the church world today, they don't want to make that next step. Amen. They caught up in tradition. They caught up in the way that man say they got up. They caught up in how things ought to be. But God is saying, "Come on, I'm calling the church out of complacency." He said, "Come on, church. I'm trying to call you into a place to what a spirit." can have control uh, come on church uh, I'm trying to move you uh, into an area uh, to what the spirit is saying uh, he that had an ear uh, let him hear uh, come on church uh, move on up uh, a little bit higher uh, can I get a witness uh, I'm looking for the day uh, and I'm talking about New Bethel now uh, I'm looking for the day uh, when the deacons come uh, and start the testimony to praise uh, the devotion of service uh, and the spirit of the Lord uh, hit them deacons uh, and they get caught on fire uh, and just run on with the Lord uh, I'm looking for the day uh, when uh, the choir, uh, male chorus, uh, our bosses of Bethel, 
uh, began to sing uh, and the anointing of God uh, began to flow uh, to what people in the seats uh, throwing up their hands uh, praising God uh, I, 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 uh, looking for the day uh, when I start to preach uh, and the anointing of God uh, flow through this place uh, like a river uh, I'm looking for the day uh, when God uh, baptized uh, the body of Christ uh, with the Holy Ghost uh, with the anointing uh, to everything uh, break out uh, in a spiritual praise uh, let everything uh, let everything uh, praise God uh, can I get a witness uh, this is the day uh, where I'm trying to say uh, it does not matter uh, how you come uh, but what matters uh, is how you leave uh, leave here uh, worshiping God uh, leave here uh, praising God uh, leave here uh, serving God uh, leave here uh, magnifying him uh, leave here uh, loving him I hear God, I hear God talking to me now, telling me you're no more your own. I hear him telling me, step out of the armor and operate in the spirit. I hear him speaking to the church, telling the church, this is our day of deliverance. I hear him telling the body of Christ, change, change, let him be the leader. And let him be the God. I pray, saints of God, my prayer is, God, help me to be the best pastor I can be. And in being the best pastor I can be, help me to let my light shine that men may see him in me. I don't care how uh, I'm treated uh, I just care uh, about serving God uh, and if I serve him uh, minister pays uh, serving the Lord serving the Lord it'll pay off uh, after a while uh, can I get a witness uh, can I get a witness uh, and I'm through uh, I'm not quitting uh, well I'm quitting but I'm not too. I hear God saying, Amen, it's time for the church to shook the atmosphere. Can I get a witness? I hear him saying, It's time for preachers to deliver a powerful rhema word. I hear him say, It's time to pray. Uh, to shackles fall off. Uh, I hear him saying, uh, it's time uh, to gather ourselves uh, at the altar of God uh, and say, Father, uh, change uh, my mind. Uh, I hear him saying, uh, this is the day, uh, this is the time uh, for the baptism uh, of the Holy Ghost uh, to inherit uh, the body of Christ. Uh, I hear him saying, uh, I send my spirit uh, to the church. Uh, that the church uh, might be a witness uh, in the need uh, an untold generation. Uh, I hear him saying, uh, Come on, 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 uh, get around, uh, come on, uh, kneel down, uh, come on, uh, bow down. Uh, 
bow down, bow down, bow down. Invitation is given. We give the invitation. <laughs> we offer Christ to you. That was one to come for rededication, for that step out on faith. Looking for a church home, looking for a place to call home. Oh, come. Come on. Come to Christ. We offer him. We offer him. Holly. Yes, Lord. The invitation been given. None came. Hallelujah, you may be seated. We offer Christ to you. Oh, my. Oh, my sister. Yeah. He will give you brand new life. Life abundantly. Oh, come. Oh, come. Come on. We received an offering by the youth department at this time. We offer Christ to you. Oh, we offer Christ to you. Oh, my brother, Ooh. we offer Christ to you. Oh, my sister, he will give you life abundantly. Oh, come, oh, come. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ooh. 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 We all for cry to you. Oh my, oh my brother. We, 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 we offer, we offer Christ to you. Oh, my, oh, my sister. He will give you, he will give you brand new life abundantly. Father, we thank you for this offer that we receive by you, Department. Blessed God, bless all that given. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Stand into your feet, everybody. Tell your neighbor, we offer Christ to you. We, 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 we for Christ to you. Oh, my. Oh, my brother. We offer Christ to you. Oh my, oh, my sister. He will give you a brand new life. He will give you a brand new life. Life abundantly. Tell him, tell him right now. Come on, come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I've obeyed your word. I stood in this holy place. I spoke it as you had given it to me. I've been obedient. Now, Father, stretch forth your mighty hand of protection. Somebody in this place today needs to submit. Stubborn, willed, hateful, mean, whatever the cause, we've offered Christ. Now, God, as we prepare to lead this assembly, go in our different homes, let the Holy Ghost interrupt the lives of your people. Let the Holy Ghost come down right now. Change hearts, change minds, change attitudes, change spirits. city. Touch, heal, and deliver in Jesus' name. Now dismiss us in peace. Bring us back in love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on to Christ. You are dismissed. We offer Christ to you. We offer Christ to you, oh my brother. Ooh. We offer Christ to you, oh my sister. He will give you brand new life, life upon the leaves. Come on, come on, come on to Christ. Ooh.